In this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the new Elgato Windows Move plugin, which allows you to position windows and applications on your desktops with one click of the Stream Deck. It's available for both Mac and Windows, and I'm a big user of Moom on the Mac system, which is a similar product. Moom allows you to save all the positions of all the windows in open applications on your desktop and then recall them all with one easy button. So I'm really interested to understand what Elgato's offering is. I know it's a simplified version of that, but I think it could be really useful for people that don't want to go down the route of using something overcomplicated. So let's take a look at it. So to get the plugin, you first have to go over to the Elgato Marketplace. Let's do that and take a quick look at how we set all this up. We've opened up our Stream Deck here. We haven't got any action set up at the moment. Let's go on this icon and open up Elgato Marketplace, Windows Mover, get that installed. Okay, click on this here and then we just open that in Stream Deck and it'll install on your Stream Deck. Handy dandy, very quick. You can see here it's installed and it's right down here at the bottom. So in my case, you've got Windows Mover. We've got three buttons that we can play with, custom, layout and maximize. I'm going to leave custom for a second. It's raised more questions than answers for me, but that's okay. Let's drag layout into one of the available keys. So you've got a couple of options. First one obviously is to give it a title, usual thing, so you can see what you're actually doing. And then the selection is based on the applications that you have up and running at the moment. Foreground means which app that's currently active and running will be in the foreground and that's the one that it's going to grab and position on the screen. In the drop down menu you've got the other selection which is app and this will show you the list of applications that you've actually got open on your system. Now these aren't applications that are installed on your system, these are the ones that you've actually opened. So it's not going to open an application for you and then position the window. You could do that with a multi-action but for this demo we're just going to show you applications that you already got open on your system. So I've got Social Stream, Ninja, QuickTime, Google Chrome, things like that, and we'll play with that in a second. The final one is the window title. So not all applications, if you have a lot of them, will be listed in that drop-down menu that I've just shown you. So you will need to find the name of the application and then just type in the title or the name of the window and it will open it up for you. So let's go and pick one of these applications. We'll start with Claude. And down at the bottom, you've got your, basically your layouts. So you've not got a ton of choices here, but this is the first iteration. They may give you more layout options later. That's where custom comes in, which we'll talk about in a second. But effectively, you've got four different layouts for your applications. You've got the split screen side by side, 50-50. Then you've got the quadrant, so you've got four in a particular monitor. And then you've got three side by side, and then you've got one larger one in the middle and two skinnier ones on the left and right. The display is where you want the positioning of the application to be, depending on how many monitors you've got connected. I've got a Mac, I'm running four at the moment. So I've got the LG, the ultra wide, the prompter, and the other monitor over there. I'm gonna pick the this one, which is the BenQ monitor that I'm running at the moment. I'm not showing you the full screen in my screen share because it's a wide skinny monitor, but I'm just going to put the window positions here on the sort of left hand side of the screen so you can actually see them. So let's grab Claude. I'm going to put it in the top left, which I've got it configured here. So I've selected app. I've got Claude. Oops. Got app. Got Claude. I've got it on this display and I'm going to put it in the basically on the left hand side split screen of my monitor. So if I hit the button, it's going to bring up Claude and bring it to the front. And now it's basically half of the display that it's taken up. So this is one half that you're seeing now. Let's go back to this and change that layout. Maybe I want Claude on the bottom left quadrant instead. So we'll click on that. And there you go. Now it's made it thin and skinny because as I said, my monitor is quite wide but skinny so it's going to adjust the proportions of the app exactly to fit in a quarter in this case of the monitor's width and obviously depending on the resolution that you have on your monitor that's obviously going to change. So what you're seeing right now is the fact that you can only do one app at a time per key. 
which is fair enough. Again, with Claude, I'm just gonna put it here, so it's gonna be a skinny, tall one. Click on that. So what you'll need to do is if you want to move multiple applications at once, well, you might have to do a multi-action. So first off, let's just grab another key, copy and paste this in here. I'll show you what I mean. So let's do Claude on the left-hand side and then let's bring up, I don't know, um, let's bring up the Stream Deck application. And if I press this button now, I'll actually put it into the middle. So Stream Deck is going to be sort of in the middle and if I press this other button here, Claude is going to be on the left. So I've now got Claude on the left, Stream Deck, slap bang in the middle, and then obviously I've got space on the right hand side of my monitor that you can't see for another one. So what happens, and I'm interested now, what happens if I just change this so Claude and Stream Deck are going to be in the same position? So basically they're just going to sit on top of each other and depending which button you press, I'm going to toggle between these two buttons here and then going to sit on top of each other. So it's just a quick and easy way of positioning your window. Now if you wanted to put these windows in a position on your desktop all at the same time, then you could do that with a multi-action. So let's just create that real quick. I'm gonna put this Stream Deck application in the middle. So we've got Claude on the left, Stream Deck on the uh, middle part. Claude on the left, Stream Deck in the middle. Let's bring up Stream Deck again. Didn't wanna close that down. Let's bring it here. And let's create a multi-action. So let's just go to the multi-actions and I'll just drag this multi-action in here. I'm going to um, just copy and paste this first move window into here. And then I'm gonna copy and paste, move the second window into here. Now, I'm hoping that if I press this button, we're going to now have Claude on the left, Stream Deck in the middle in one action. If I press it once, there you go. So it's positioned Claude on the left, and Stream Deck in the middle, and that's just by using a multi-action. So using a multi-action, you can consolidate all these window positions into one single action. So that is how that particular action works. And again, bringing something into the foreground, if we, if we grab another layout here, and if I say the app I'm going to pick is the one that's in the foreground, that effectively would be Stream Deck because that's the one I'm using right now. So if I click on this, the Stream Deck, oops, I actually put it on the wrong monitor. Let me just grab that. That's fun. See, that's the LG one. Let's just pop it here. So this is the one in the foreground. If I click on this, whatever app is I'm working on or the app that's in the foreground will be positioned there. So for example, if I was to bring up, let's say I was to bring up Google Chrome. So I've got the Chrome app here. I'm gonna pop it over to another window because I don't care about it. I'm gonna leave it and then press this button. Obviously now that was the one that was in the foreground originally and that's the one that's positioned there. So depending on how you work on your desktop on a day-to-day -day basis, you might find this particular one quite useful because if you're working on the app and you just wanna bring it to the foreground, that's fair enough. So that's where that particular one would be. Let's just see if it actually understands these titles. So I'm gonna now switch this to title. Let's put in, uh, just put in social stream. I don't know if you have to give it the full title, but let's see if it works. So social stream, click on that. Yes. So as you can see here, the actual full name is social stream ninja version, blah, 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 blah. But I only had to type in for this particular one, social stream. If I click that again, nothing happens. It doesn't minimize the app. So this is, this action, just to let you know, is not a toggle. There is a toggle function for the maximize, which I'll show you in a second, but these buttons aren't toggles. So if you hit it once and you bring Social Stream Ninja up and into the left-hand side where I've positioned it, if I press it again, it's not gonna work. The only way that it's gonna be overwritten is if I pressed another button and brought Claude in with the other button that I've used before. So that's something just to keep in mind. It's not a toggle, which I guess you don't really need, but you do need it if you're maximizing. So let's grab this other action here for layout. Let's pop this one here. And I'm going to now call up an app. Let's bring on, let's do Google Chrome again. And this time we're going to, actually I've pressed the wrong, wrong button, it's actually maximize. So let's just override that. Maximize is only one button. It's gonna maximize the entire app. Let's 
grab the app that we want. Let's pick the app, which is Google Chrome. Let's pop it into this display here. Press it once and Google Chrome is now going to be front and center and maximized. So this is basically maximized and my full screen that you can see. Now, if I press the button again, it's actually going to minimize the, or put it into the position that it was before. So let me just show you that again. I'm going to actually just squeeze this window down here. So it's sort of small. I'm going to hit the maximize button, which is just this one here. So I'm going to hit maximize. It's going to maximize Google Chrome. And if I press the button again on my stream deck, it puts it back into the position that it was and minimizes the window. So that is effectively a toggle between maximizing the window and putting it into its original position. So that's the button so far that I've been playing with. The custom one is interesting. And let me, let me show you that one real quick. Let me just delete some of these. Now the custom one, I thought, ooh, I'll be able to customize and put all the windows here and it'll save my positions. Not quite. I have reached out to Elgato to ask the question. If you guys know what the answer is, please leave a comment because I couldn't work that out. So this one is a little bit different. So with the customize button, you still get the same selection, foreground app, a list of apps, the name of the app and so on. So I'm just going to bring up Claude for a second. And then again, you have the choice of which display you want to store the location. But now you've got some extra options down here. You've got X, Y coordinates. So this is basically pixeling, pixel peeping, pixel setting, where you exactly want that window to be. So you've got to know the coordinates of where you want to position the window on your particular monitor or desktop. And then you can actually select the width and the height of that window. So the question I add is, well, I don't know on this large monitor here with its millions of pixels, which X, Y coordinates I need to add in. So I'm not quite sure the purpose of this particular action, unless there's a way of this plugin or another plugin, I know you can get them, but it's a positioning plugin. I need to know where on my desktop this particular window is so I can put in the coordinates. So what I mean by that is, let me just bring up Google Chrome. So here's Google Chrome. Let's bring on this YouTube channel by this chap. Um, and as you can see, I can put this window wherever I want. Now it would have been nice for me to now have just said, you know, save or click a position button where I can now basically save and lock that window to where I want it. So I like placing my windows where I want on my desktop if I've got a number of different windows up, let's say Ecamm Live, which has got multiple panels, or another application that's got multiple panels, you might want to save each of these panels separately. And in this particular case, I have no way of knowing what the coordinates are of this window. So I can, I can guess. So let's say I do uh, 1080 by, I don't know, uh, 300, let's just say, for example, okay? I'm going to keep the width and height at 800 by 600 for now. I'm just going to minimize this. So you can see I've got, um, let's make it Google Chrome. So I've got Google Chrome selected. I'm going to pop it on this window, uh, this display. Position is 1080, uh, X, Y is 300, width and height. So if I press that button now, it's sort of popped up there. If I change the width and height, so let's make the width um, 1000. Oops, let me just type it in. If I make it 1000, and if I make the height uh, 600, for example, then, so we've got 1000 to 600. If I press that button again, it's now obviously brought it to the front and center and sort of slightly resized it. But I'm just guessing where these coordinates are on my, or this location is on my desktop. I have no way of knowing. So if you know in the comments, or if you let me know in the comments, how do I find out where the position is of my window on my Mac or Windows machine? It doesn't really matter. It's still the same. I just don't see where I can find that out. Now, it would have been good if I had selected the app here, Google Chrome, for example, moved it around to where I wanted it, and these coordinates moved, that would be intuitive for me to say, okay, then I just save the coordinates 
or the position of my window where I've placed it. At the moment, I don't know how to get that particular one working. You know, I did mention that only active applications that are up and running you can use with this particular plugin. Well, if you did a multi-action again, but this time called the app up directly, then you could technically do that. So for example, I could bring in a multi-action and then I could go to, I think it's, uh, I can't remember where it is, it's in system, I think, and then I could open. So I could then say, what application do I actually want to open first? So I could get this multi-action to open the app that's actually not up and running and then put in the move application with the name of the title of the window or the app and then get it to, to call that up. So I could I could technically do that. Let's let's just try it. So if I go on here, it'll bring up my app window. So if I if I bring up, let's say I bring up OBS. Okay. And then I bring up the window title, which is gonna hopefully called OBS. I'm gonna position it here. I actually don't want that particular action. Let me just get rid of that one. I don't want the custom one because that's way too complicated. Let's do it in the layout real quick. Let's bring that to title, we'll call it OBS. And then I'll put OBS here on this left hand side. So what I'm doing with this multi action is I'm opening up OBS with the open action. And then my second action is I want to basically call the OBS window that's now been opened and I want to position it on this monitor on this left hand side. So let's try it. Click on the multi action and let's see what happens. So it should open OBS. OBS is opened. Oh, it's just a plug-in error there. I think I should have put the delay. It's actually opened OBS on the other monitor. So let's just click that again. So I need to put a delay in there. So there has to be some element of delay between opening the application, which might take a, a few milliseconds and actually positioning it. So let's try that again. Let me close OBS down. And now I'll just put some delay in the middle here. So let me just find where that is. I can never remember where that is. Do, 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 delay. Pop the delay in the middle. Let's make it five seconds. So I'm now putting a five second delay, open OBS, wait five seconds, position the window. That should give enough time to open up the application. Let me just make sure OBS is closed. It is. Let's open it. Five seconds. There you go. So now it's opened it properly and it's now effectively positioned it in the right place on my screen. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty interesting plugin. There's a few quirks that I'm not 100% sure about. Maybe it's just me and my use case and not understanding how to get that other plugin working where you have to specify the coordinates and so on. But let me know in the comments if you figure that out. I'd be really interested to understand your use cases if you're finding this useful. And if you're a Mac or a Windows user, how are you using it in your workflows? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.